So, you know, I can remember years ago developing uh, on the 6502 using assembly. And um, while that was uh, pretty high tech at the time, it was very challenging, very time consuming. Of course, there was, there was very little thought to any, anything like low power. You had you had mentioned that that was that from that point to where we are now, there's been quite a bit of uh, raising the abstraction level. Do you talk a little more about that. So um, the 6502 in particular is interesting because it was in the heart of the the BBC Model B microcomputer. Mm. So this was uh, Acorn's first big success, and Acorn Computes actually then designed the ARM processor, which then span out into ARM. <laughs> so I use the, I use the 65. 6502 in the BBC Micro and later the ARM in the Archimedes and this is why I work at ARM but I'm not sure if everyone will be interested in that one but um, but what's interesting to me is that you know for microcontrollers in particular people you know 20 years ago were using assembler specific to a proprietary architecture on their 8-bit device um, obviously embedded C mm. has dramatically improved productivity allowed people to reuse code across devices uh, giving them the power to create more complex applications more quickly uh, and with less bugs, so this is fantastic. So one thing that Embed's doing is, I guess, raising the abstraction layer again, because we know that connectivity is a baseline requirement for Internet of Things, and whilst connectivity is complex technology under the hood, we want to make it as easy as possible for people to integrate this into their product ideas, so they can focus on innovation of their application rather than you know, reinventing the, the wheel in terms of creating these components. Do you know what uh, what other languages? I mean, so certainly uh, C, but I mean, could you use Java? Could you? I mean, how far up could you go? Well, interesting. Certainly, you know, Java is one possibility, and in fact, um, Java ME has been ported onto, I think it's the STM32 microcontroller based on Cortex M3. Mm. Uh, also, Raspberry Pi. I know with Java ME eight, they're reducing the size. So yes, certainly, mm. there's other there's other languages that will become more applicable and, applicable and embedded as time goes on. Okay. One, one final question. Uh, you know, back then, you know, eight and sixteen bits, and that was enough to to bring in sensor data and to you know uh, handle it and you know control a DMUX and things like that. But um, things have become more complex now. So really, you you need more than that, don't you? Right. So I think you know it's very important to note the trend for intelligence at the sensor node. So the sensor is not just blindly streaming data. Mm -hmm. It's got policies to know when important events happen, how to filter and communicate this, reducing power, and also reducing data on the network. So, you know, b big data problems are, are definitely, you know, a potential with the Internet of Things, but having intelligence in the sensor node can help bring context and reduce that traffic. So making the efficiency, you know, start the, the sensor is definitely a, a good approach and one that Cortex-M's designed for. Fantastic. Excellent. Thanks for uh, sharing that with us.